going on guys? This is Burrs. I have a test here for you today. This is a part of the 2013 Sleeping Bag Clinic uh, video series that we're doing. And what this is, is basically we're taking sleeping bags, taking them outside, and seeing how they perform out in the wild. Um, you don't really see this on YouTube at all. You gotta really search to find people who are actually testing stuff to the level that I'm testing it as far as going out and actually using a, uh, a thermometer and actually getting you know real-time data as to what the sleeping bag is doing. So we're doing this with a bunch of different sleeping bags to kind of see how they perform in different temperatures. So then today, we have the Valentre, which I actually like saying because it's European, uh, Swing 500. This is a, uh, honestly, this is just a really nice bag as far as the construction. Um, it's made super well um, as far as construction goes and worksman workmanship. Um, and I'm really excited to use this bag uh, for a few different reasons. Number one, this bag um, has a 700 plus duck down fill. Uh, but on top of that, this is a, a bag that's rated at 34 degrees for the comfort rating. The extreme rating is uh, around zero degrees. Um, but you know the comfort rating is 34 degrees. Now I'm going outside in 29, 30 degree weather, so you know I'm four degrees below the comfort rating. So I'm really curious as to what temperature I'm going to get, because usually when you put sleeping bags near their comfort rating, um, they're not going to be super warm. Uh, they'll be warm, but not super warm. You really want to use them a little bit above that comfort rating. Um, you don't see sleeping bags nowadays being you know singly rated uh, nowadays you're starting to see some of the uh, the bigger brands kind of go for a comfort rating a uh, an extreme rating so usually um, in between there is where you're going to want to uh, you know use a sleeping bag at its maximum um, but as far as this one i'm really curious um, because it has a lot of features on it uh, on the inside you have a lot of these different pulls you can use um, as far as you know getting the bag to where you want it on your uh, your head and your body and your your shoulder area so you can really customize this with the inside. You have the baffle here. Uh, it's gonna go against your back and around the front. It's gonna lock in that core temperature. So really excited to see what this will do. Let's go ahead and get this bag outside and uh, see what we get. So what we're gonna do for this test is for 10 minutes, I'm gonna stand outside and I'm going to acclimate myself to the, uh, the cold weather. Uh, we're at 30 degrees right here. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, sleeping bag's out here with me, the thermometer's out here with me. Everything's gonna be acclimated for about 10 minutes. And after that 10 minutes, I'm gonna get into the bag like I am right now, and I'm gonna take the thermometer, put it inside with me, and then get the, re the rating of it for 10 minutes straight. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right here, I have the actual uh, video um, of the, uh, the different temperatures that we're using. So we're starting out at around 37 degrees, and let's see what it comes out to after about five minutes. So we're at 58 degrees with this after five minutes. And the cool thing about this is, you know, that's a 20 degree swing from where we started. Um, this bag is rated for 34 degrees for a comfort rating. We're at 30 degrees right now. So we're four degrees under the comfort rating. You know, and I've just increased the temperature by uh, 20 degrees um, over the course of five minutes. And here we are finishing up and you, know, you can see it's 69 degrees. We're gonna end up at 70 degrees. So for a bag that's actually four degrees, you know, it's rated for 34, but we're in 30 degree temperatures. This bag was really warm and it actually was warming up, you know, towards the end there, if we would have went longer, which we do have another video coming out with a 30 minute video, you know, this bag would have maintained the warmth that um, I had in it. I could feel it getting warmer towards the end. Um, it did seem to warm up, you know, not wouldn't say slow, but at a moderate pace, but it started out at uh, 37 degrees and here we are at 70 for a finish. So what we saw there was a uh, 20 degree, you know, increase within five minutes. We ended up around 70 degrees, actually at 70 degrees. And you know, that's a good swing for particularly a bag that's, you know, rated for 34 degrees on a comfort rating. And this was 30 degree weather. So the next thing I really want to do is I want to take this bag out into like 20 degree weather, 15 degree weather. My next test for my sleeping bags is I actually want to do 15 degree weather. Um, where I really want to test this, you know, this bag out in 15 degree weather because it's rated for a comfort rating of 34 degrees. So if I can take this down to 15 degrees, you know, I can actually, you know, use this almost year round, um, you know, especially if you have clothing on. Um, this bag is definitely gonna get you through a lot. Um, it's constructed super well. The thing I think that really kept me warm in there, even though it is a, uh, a relatively light bag, is the fact that you can pull these pull strings and really customize the way the baffling goes um, around your head, around your, uh, your chest area. You also have uh, baffling. You have a lot of different customizations you can do with this bag. Um, so 
And that's why I think really set this apart. You know, it has a good hood that definitely, you know, wraps around your head. Um, I think that uh, the dead air space, because the, um, I don't want to say dead air space, but the bottom here, when you look at this, this actually has kind of like a, like it comes up, okay? So their, their toe area is a little bit more expanded than some other bags out there. Um, you know, as far as this right here, this area right here seems to be a little bit more uh, fluffed than some other ones in the market. So, and that's one area that I have problems with is my feet. My feet always get cold when I'm out, you know, in the wilderness. So um, I really like the fact of how they designed the, uh, the foot area. But, you know, that's a really, you know, good, you know, uh, 70 degrees. I had tested two years ago a North Face zero degree sleeping bag, uh, which is synthetic fill. And I only got the 70 degrees after 10 minutes. So that says a lot for this bag, which is, you know, pretty much, you know, on the price range of that North Face but a lot lighter um, and a lot more comfortable um, with the materials that they've used here. So really impressed with this, you know, after uh, 10 minutes, 70 degrees. Uh, next test is gonna be 15 degrees, like I said. If you guys have a uh, Valentre uh, sleeping bag or if you have sleeping bags that you'd like to get tested, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. We'll see what we can do. And um, if you uh, guys wanna go out and test stuff yourself, go ahead and make videos and uh, let us all know about that. And uh, until next time, later. So what do you think is really going to impress me? Or what's really going to get my, you know, my, uh, Jesus, I can't talk. I'm baffling. Um, you don't see that. Um, I don't know if I'd say that. That's kind of dumb to say.